Hello and welcome to another episode of Quick Match Heroes. My name is Aaron, aka Grishno, and this is Heroes of the Storm. Welcome to the Sky Temple. On today's episode, I'm really excited about this. Somebody from Reddit sent me a, a match uh, to watch. They just said it was good, and I'm sort of uh, taking their word for it, but that means I've never seen this match before, which is something I'm really excited about. So, on the red team, we do have a Sylvanas, Artanis, Lunara, Butcher, and Jaina going up against another Butcher, Sonya, Lunara, Nazebo, and Sergeant Hammer. Teams are getting in position and are heading out. We do have Sylvanas heading down the mid lane. Does look like Sergeant Hammer is going to try and go for the sight point. Up top is able to hide in the bush, being a little bit sneaky. Let's see. Butcher is coming in, is able to get the slow out, but Sergeant Hammer pushing him back. It uh, does look like Sergeant Hammer should be able to settle in the top lane just fine and get a little bit of damage. Butcher is coming out, is hiding in the top though. In the mid lane though, Artanis getting very low. Love to see some Artanis play, love that he's getting uh, back into the meta a little bit after these recent patches. Does look like Sylvanas is going in, she's going in really deep, getting tons of damage from Lunara, but Butcher coming in against Lunara is possibly able to get the kill, is able to get the kill. Fantastic play by the... Blue Team's Butcher, just great. Nazebo very low, just poking his head out, not really interested in engaging. In the bottom lane, though, we do have Sonya and the Butcher coming in. We also have the Butcher and Jaina. We'll see how this goes. Sonya getting her spear in, but Butcher's, uh, Brand, or not Brand, but Sonya spinning and winning away. Does look like she's going very low, though. There's the Brand. It is coming out, but she is able to just walk away because the Butcher's going in very low. Does look like we have a Butcher v. Butcher, and in that situation, you know who wins? Man, it's the Butcher. Does look like Sonya is incredibly low, though. Is going to walk all the way back and maybe take a sippy cup, maybe Hearth. Meanwhile, at the top lane, we do have Lunara hiding in the bushes, just sort of hanging out, being cool. Does see Sergeant Hammer go by and is going to come in, take out the top, maybe focus on the tower. Sergeant Hammer, though, zoning out this temple in the middle, saying, This is mine, Lunara, trying to poke her head in, but just taking a little bit of damage. Does look like blue team is here, wants to contest it, but we have four members of the red team. Does look like Artanis, the tank, is going to go top for the blue team. Do have sort of the blue team is circling around. Will they be able to get anything in? Does look like Sonya is spinning and winning in there. Sylvanas is taking a ton of damage. Lunara coming in. Butcher coming in now with the brand on him and it's going to go down. Does look like we also have a significant amount of poison coming out from Lunara. Lunara getting very low here. Will she go down? She is poisoned. She is below the health and it does look like that should secure the kill. Also looks like Sylvanas dying possibly from the... Uh, the minions there? Was that what happened? Wow. Uh, in the mid lane, though, we do have the, uh, three members of the red team holding it down. Meanwhile, at the top, though, Artanis has just been sitting here, sort of taking up space and holding down this top four. It does look like he was able to get the entire thing. So as far as siege damage from the objective, uh, from the objective goes, it does look like teams are fairly even. Blue team, even with a slight advantage, just hitting level 5. Does look like uh, Jaina is going to be in a little bit of trouble with Sonya and the Butcher coming in. Lunara getting out some poisons on the Butcher who might be overextended. Not enough damage to, to put him below the, the death line, but does look like he should be able to get away with his tail between his legs. Meanwhile, we do have Lunara up at the top pushing back a lot of pressure from the blue team. Mid lane, we do have Jaina Looks like she's trying to escape. Butcher is here. Sonya is here. She's going in deep, getting in an ice lance. Sonya spinning in, but Butcher now going in is taking damage from the blizzard. Is going to take a poke. Is going to get a little bit slowed. Will she be able to make anything happen? Tossing out a slow, and it just isn't enough. Butcher is able to get away. In the bottom lane, though, speaking of butchers, we have a butcher down here. Coming in against the minion wave, taking damage from the towers and almost dying is incredibly low. Sylvana is hearthing back to base because that lane is just hanging on by a thread. But Artanis now, in the top lane, is coming in hard. Sonya is spinning away and trying to get some damage and push them back. Jaina is incredibly low and fully poisoned. Will Lunara be able to get the kill? It doesn't look like the Sippy Cup is here and Lunara takes her out. Now trying to skip away and Artanis is going to walk into the base. Here's Sylvanas though, fully healed. Butcher now, taking a look at the situation and just... Oh, looks like the Butcher is going to engage on the Butcher. 
getting some damage there on Sonya. Sonya is low. Is Sylvanas able to get some damage in? Artanis now coming in. They are able to take out Sonya. This is just non-stop fighting here. Missing Artanis' abilities. Sergeant Hammer focused on the bottom is going in and just pushing that lane solo is going to get the red team uh, back up, caught up in levels. Butcher is going in deep and they are able to take down the Butcher. That is two members of the red team down. Very exciting match so far. It looks like a lot going on. They are going to rotate now to the top where Nazebo has just pushed back that, that big push from the blue team that did get a lot of damage here on the fort. Butcher's hiding out in the bushes here. Will he go in? He does go in, get the slows. Coming out, trying to get the... Maybe will he get the brown? Nazebo is slowed. And he is able to walk, walk through the towers and use that. Butcher does go down now to tower damage. Nazebo getting poisoned should die from that. So one for one trade. Looks like uh, Butcher just going in a little bit deep in Lunara. Having to hearth because she is very low. Meanwhile, we do have a temple spawning in the bottom. But Jaina there just dies. Zoned out. Just too, too many members of the red team down here. Does look like we have Sergeant Hammer again setting up with great positioning in the back. Is able to cover this entire area and say, you don't belong here. Don't even think about it. Does look like Sylvanas is maybe thinking about it though. Will she be able to make anything happen? Red Team's Butcher is going to be up in the lane though. Soaking XP and forcing her back. Looks like two members of the blue team are coming in now. Artanis is going to go in deep. Will he be able to make anything happen? Taking a lot of damage. Going in on Sergeant Hammer. Changing the positioning. Sergeant Hammer zooming away. Lunara taking a ton of damage from the Butcher. Artanis now going down. Does look like Lunara is trapped in the Zebo zombie wall. And is also going to go down now. Sylvan is in trouble. Is she able to get away? She's just barely there. Butcher though. Huge play by the Butcher. Is able to get her down. And now Jaina in trouble. Looks like she's going to try and get away. But the blue team just got annihilated in the bottom. Great positioning by Sergeant Hammer. Especially knowing when to get away. Does look like they should be able to secure this, the rest of this temple. And the blue team all uh, back in their base with their tail between their legs. It looks like that's almost enough to take down one of the mid temples. Uh, or sorry mid forts does look like a uh, bottom fort for the blue team is already gone but uh so we're we're almost even maybe red team slightly ahead as far as siege damage goes does look like the teams are both gonna sort of trade camp so we do have the red team coming down here is going to be able to get their siege camp blue team may be doing the same thing doesn't look like too much going on here. We do have Lunara trying to poke away at Sergeant Hammer, who's just positioned themselves again, just hanging out at the top. Is able to get some poison out. Is going in one for one. Is taking a lot of damage, though. Sergeant Hammer, meanwhile, using first aid, and looks like they're just barely going to be hit at all. Uh, Sergeant Hammer can be incredibly deadly, especially if they focus, and this one seems to be playing very well. Lunara, though, trying to uh, check out what's going on, is going to go in, is maybe going to die, is just sneaking away, just barely, but in the mid, mid lane, we do have Jaina also just dying. Nazebo, though, very low, is just hanging on by a thread, just, just hanging out behind the tower. Will the Butcher go in, make anything happen? It does look like Nazebo's pushing out of here, but the Butcher's now coming in, trading places. Uh, now blue team's butcher in a little bit of uh, damage is maybe out of position does look like butcher's gonna go in on the butcher but is going to cancel that was going to be very far meanwhile the rest of the blue team is capturing this bruiser camp up top pinging for a little bit of assistance here on sergeant hammer see if they'll be able to make anything happen butcher going in deep sonya is here though getting the spear in and getting some counter damage butcher very low does look like lunara is coming in trying to get some damage the rest of the team coming in, they are able to actually secure the Sergeant Hammer kill. Meanwhile, Sonya, now Poison, might not be able to make anything happen. And we do have a laser beam from Artanis coming out on the Butcher, who's just walking away. But that is going to force him to disengage very hard. Nazebo uh, does look like he was able to solo one of these camps, so they do have to battle this. But they are very easily going to take down this top fort. Butcher now going in with his ultimate abilities, getting tons of damage, but just really has to disengage now. Just has to try and walk away. Is able to do it, but Nazebo is going to go down. Blue team is able to get this for and still has uh their their mercenary camp pushing as well so uh red team is going to be forced to respond to that does look like temples are up it's level 13 to level 13 so when we look at the talents everybody's on the same talent here that's very good uh it's hard to disen it's hard to engage or defend if you're down or up uh on talent tiers does look like 
uh, several members of the blue team are going in the mid. Butcher, though, is hanging out in the bottom. Uh, looks like he's trying to go in on Sergeant Hammer. Is it going to be enough? Janus coming in. Butcher does go down. Sergeant Hammer is very low, though, but uh, looks like Sonya should be able to take this just fine. Now, Sonya is the only one here. Does look like Lunara is here. Might be able to do something, but the rest of the red team is coming in. They're just letting the blue team have the top one, really saying we need to at least get one. Three members, four members, five members all here defending this, and... It uh, does look like we have two members, but this is going to be a 2v5, so all you can really do is poke now. Jaina, out of position, is going to go down, just getting too close. does look like Artanis is going to come in, is going to use an ability uh, with his laser there to zone out Sonya. Uh, is going to take some damage from the laser. Poison should be able to do this unless they get some, some health. Doesn't look like they did because they missed all their spins and wins. Well, they're coming down, seeing if they can heal up on the menu wave. They are able to do that just Barely, just barely saving themselves. Uh, great move by Sonya there with the sustain going in on the minions. She knew exactly what she had to do. Does look like red team is thinking about boss, but being very cautious. Blue team is here and does see them. Lunara, though, too low and has to leave. Does look like Sylvanas is going to try and get this camp, but we, we have the butcher. We have the whole red team here. They should be able to take this boss pretty easily. Doesn't look like the blue team is in position to be able to see it, but we do have the blue team's butcher coming in, poking. Might be hopping onto the spawn point. Is it going to be enough? Will they be able to steal? It doesn't look... Oh my gosh! Oh! <laughs> Blue team got it! Oh wow! So Sergeant Hammer just out of position there, honestly. Uh, not even hidden in the 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 grass. Not, e not on the spawn point uh, where they, they really could have been. And that allowed, even though... Uh, both teams lost players that allowed Jaina and possibly Lunara it looked like to run into the middle and steal this boss Fantastic play by the blue team looks like the the red team now on their heels Sergeant Hammer is the only one alive and the blue team is pushing they are getting this siege camp here on the bottom uh, Artanis and Lunara now that they've received that should go and push with this boss with uh, with this boss which also has a siege camp pushing behind it. Sergeant Hammer is trying to zone out, is trying to get a little bit of damage on this boss, but is now Artanis just coming out and, and using the laser. Sergeant Hammer not moving and is going down. Butcher coming in, trying to heal off of Artanis, but Artanis is walking away, jumping in though, and is going to go down, just overextending a little bit. Nazebo here pushing it back. Looks like they are able to save the keep. No damage to the keep from this boss, but they did, were not able to save the wall. And two members of the blue team are down. Does look like uh, temples have spawned at this point. So red team in uh, a little bit of an advantage. They could send two members to each. And uh, because the blue team has so few members up, does look like red team is just going to go all the way down to the bottom though. And Sylvanas for the blue team is down here knowing when, when to run. Does just get out of there before the red team arrives. Great uh, prediction of where the enemy was going to be. It looks like she is just going to go top. Uh, Jaina and the Butcher up here taking the top temple completely uncontested. Sylvanas uh, also going to go help maybe go take out a mercenary camp or something. I'm not entirely sure what she's doing. Probably can't see any of the, the other teams. Looks like she is going to take a mercenary camp. Red team though just sort of hanging out on bottom really protective of this temple. They are all four members of their team are here holding it down. So just incredibly close game. When you look at uh, the levels they are both level 18 blue team with a slight advantage but kills 22 kills to 22 kills three forts to three forts incredible back and forth pinging for some help on azebo here looks like red team wants to go bottom lane sergeant hammer though pinging for assistance back at this siege camp uh bruiser camp sorry Jaina coming in is going to try and get some damage is using her water elemental and he just melts and it does look like three members of the blue team are able to push the top with this bruiser camp as well. Meanwhile, though, red team understanding that now is their time of opportunity. Goes in and pushes against Artanish, takes him down. Now it's only Lunara here to push against four members. But Sonya just getting too close, getting too cocky. Does look like Lunara is going to go down. And now it is just the Butcher and Nazebo as well as Lunara pushing in against this keep. They should get this keep very easily. It should be a one-for-one -one trade. Blue team's Butcher going in deep is able to get the kill on the red team's Butcher. Now getting uh, Nazebo going in against Lenora is getting the slow, tossing out the brand. Will he be able to get him? 
Come on. <laughs> He's just she's hopping away, but she couldn't do it. She couldn't get all the way and it does look like blue team's going to in straight on the core They weren't able to respond red team is just completely down. This should be good game any second it looks like core is at 30% 20% level 20 now for the blue team should easily be able to get this focusing the core maybe No, Sylvanas Trying to get it cores at 3% sergeant hammer holding it down Jaina getting sergeant hammer 3%. 3%. Sonya's up. Um, Butcher's top. Artanis is hanging out. Only Sonya's up. Looks like looks like Butcher's up as well. Butcher's coming in. He's trying to get it. Red team's coming in. They're, they just melt the Butcher. Red team now has the advantage. They understand if they can get this temple, if they can get this temple at the top, there's only one temple. It's going to spawn in four seconds. Four seconds. If Artanis holds this, he might just need... It looks like he does have to go through the shields. Red team coming in, is able to hold down, is able to, to make it neutral. Blue team is going to zone out Nazebo, but is going to go down. Lunara coming in, trying to be a hero, but Lunara pushing her back. <laughs> Does look like Red Team's Lunara was able to take her down. That is tons of, of kills on the blue team, who's now on their heels. Red Team holding it together with 3% on the, on the core. I am just amazed by this. This is incredible. Looks like they should be able to take this entire temple. It's almost done spawning. Blue team's not even going for it. They are going to try and play it safe, though. There's only Jaina and Sylvanas up. Uh, they are going to get the siege camp at the bottom. Looks like they're going to try and go for another one. Might be caught out of position here. Hiding in the bushes. There's Lenora taking a ton of damage, though. Butcher coming in, disengaging, just walking away. Looks like they might be able to get this. They're going to be pushing in the bottom lane now with two camps. Two camps are going to come in the bottom. Nazebo's here. Nazebo's hiding. He's going to come in. They're going in on Jaina now together. They are able to get Jaina. They should be able to get him there. Now Butcher coming in against the Butcher. using They're using their abilities against each other. Trading into each other. Blue teams goes down, but red team also goes down. Sylvanas going down. Artanis' ability is now coming out on Sonya, who has to run away. Still core sitting at 3%. Sergeant Hammer just sitting in the back defending. Is going to try and push this back. They do have a keep here in the way. Holy smokes. We're at 17 minutes. I, they really did defend. I mean, Blue Team, I think, did the right move going in for the core like that. But um, just, you know... Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work. I think that was still the right move. The thing is that you, at this point, uh, you're at risk of people trying to dive in and be heroes and just run in on their own. Looks like red team's gonna go up top. They are gonna get this uh, bruiser camp to push back. Uh, but what happens is when people go in on their own over and over and over and you just get this chain reaction of people dying, looks like now two temples are up. We still have three keeps up for the blue team. So red team has a long way to go. Uh, but temples are up. All five members of each team are up. So this is going to be, this is it. This is even footing. This is uh, even levels. Uh, does look like red team might get a slight level advantage. Maybe Lunara getting some vision up top does see that the butcher is here. That's very valuable vision. Blue team is playing it safe. They are going for a bruiser camp. And now Artanis is going to run in bottom, but Nazebo's here. Is going to go one-on-one -on -one against Nazebo. Try and hold him down. Is going to try and take this fort. But up top, we do have butcher coming in and getting one kill. Lunara jumping over and over. Butcher now very poisoned. Should go down unless he gets some heals, but there's just no one here to do it. Is gonna go down to the heals. And it does look like two members of the blue team hold the top, but our looks like red team. Blue team's Artanis is gonna go down. Uh, blue team is holding the top, and that's attacking the the keep, though, so the, the core is still completely protected. They are trading now one temple to one temple. Uh, red team's holding the middle, and blue team is holding the top. This is an incredibly suspenseful game. This is very hard to cast. <laughs> uh, 
uh, Sergeant Hammer is, uh, you know, really good at zoning out. And so it's just saying, you know, this is my core. Oh, but they were able to get it. <laughs> Sergeant Hammer, I'm so sorry. It does look like the, holding down the blue team's temple at the top was enough to get the keep and the core. Uh, Sergeant Hammer, pro you know, probably doing the right thing and staying back. Probably, you know, and had pushed off many, many attempts. What a close game. That was really incredible. I mean, they almost came back from, from that loss. I mean, blue team did push the core just like you're supposed to do. you got to push that core. Um, don't, don't be afraid <laughs> of going in for the core when the moment is right. And I think that that was absolutely the right moment. Anyway, what an exciting match. I really hope that you enjoyed that today. If you did, please hit the like button. It helps out a great deal. And remember to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And until next time, I'm Grishno. Send me more games because that was super fun to cast and I'll see you later. Okay, bye.